Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergs Arcade at BergsArcade.net and here we are back once again with our RPG controller. So today I want to go ahead and add in jumping. I know it's one of the requested features and people haven't figured it out yet. Well, let's go ahead and well, we'll do it today. So I've got out and picked up some jumping animations. It really doesn't matter which ones you pick up. All that really matters is that you have one that has a forward jump motion. I've actually picked two of them up. I'm not sure which one I'll use yet, but I've got two. Uh, you're going to want one for a standing jump. And one for jumping backwards. And of course, like always, if you don't have one that jumps backwards, you can always just take the jump forward and play it backwards. But I like having separate animations for all. So once you have all your animations and you have them set up properly, we're going to go ahead, jump into our animator. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new blend tree. There are a few different ways to do it, but this is probably the easiest one to do with the uh, stuff we've learned so far. I'm going to go ahead and make a jump. When we get into fancier jumps, we're probably going to want to switch this over to something else. But just to get things working, let's do it this way. And I like to add my motions this way. I'm going to add three of them. Let's go into jumping. I want to take my running jump. And we'll just go with this one for now. Uh, where's my standing or idle jump? I'll put that in the middle. And of course, my backwards jump. Yeah, which I missed. Did I spell jumping wrong? Oh no, okay, I got it right. We'll go ahead and put that up here. We're going to have to change the thresholds because remember Unity takes for input negative one to one. And we're going to keep it as 1D and the parameter is not going to be turn. It's going to be move Z. So the way this works is it's going to pick the jump according to our forward momentum. So if we're moving 100% backwards, it'll play 100% backwards jump. Same thing for the forwards. And anything in between, it's going to blend. Let's also go ahead and make our parameter over here. And I'm just going to make a trigger. Now, I'm not sure if we've actually covered triggers or not, but triggers are kind of cool. They're, they're like Boolean values, except that when they trigger, they fire off and then... Think of it like a Boolean where it would set itself to true, and then when it's done, it sets itself back to false for you automatically. I really like triggers. And I'm going to call this trigger jump. And if we come back to our base layer, I'm going to go from the any state. I'm going to make a transition to jump. And for this, I'll set the transition to be that trigger. And we notice here there's no parameter to pass in. And then with jump selected, I'm going to go ahead and make a transition right down to the freeform directional. And I'm not going to put anything on here. If we go ahead and click it, no parameters. I am going to make sure that has exit time is checked because I want the full jump animation to be played. And we want to make sure it's turned off for the one from any state to jump, which it is. Great. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll jump in. And let's actually add the code in our script so it actually jumps. So I'm going to come right under move and I'm going to call a function called jump. I like to keep them separate. And we'll just cover it under jump, even though it's only a couple lines of code. And all we're going to say is if input.get key down, and we'll just take a key code for this. And I'm just going to use space. Then we're going to fire off that trigger. So we're going to say anim.set trigger. And the trigger name that we want, I believe I called it jump, right? We'll save that off. We'll quickly jump in just to make sure. Yes, I did call it jump. Now with the space bar, it should jump. All right, so standing jump works fine. If we're running and we jump, what about if we run back? We jump. And if we're turning, we jump. Well, we'll always jump forward. We don't have a turning jump. And that might be something we want to look at a little bit later on. Uh, let's, while we're here, let's also go ahead and fix the camera. I want the camera to actually follow my guy. Whoops. Let's go ahead, we'll go to the scene view. I'm just gonna go ahead, drag the main camera onto our beta. We'll go ahead uh, for position. I want it centered. I want it up two. And let's go back five. Let's also do the rotations of zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna go ahead, hit play. I am gonna adjust the rotation on X just slightly. Maybe 10, yeah, 10. 
And I'll turn it off. 10. I'm going to save it and I'm going to update my prefab as well. well. Apparently I don't have a prefab for it. Uh, do we have prefabs? We do have prefabs. And for some reason this isn't it. Well, guess what? It is now. And if we go ahead and do one more quick test here, we should be able to follow him. So as you see, he always jumps forward. And doesn't jump on the turn. But we now have a smooth jump animation for when he's running. Anyway, there we go. We have the jump set up. And that's it for this quick update. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.